In this video, we're going to be going over how to convert positive integers between binary, hexadecimal and deanery. The above table allows us to easily convert positive integers between any of the three base number systems that you need for the exam. Base 2 to 16, 10 to 16, 16 to 2 and so on and so forth. So let's have a look and converting the deanery number 12 into hexadecimal. Now what you want to do is go through binary. It just makes things a lot easier. So we take the number 12 and we write it out in its binary, which we showed you in a previous video. So there's the number 12 in binary, naught, 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 and an eight plus a four. 8 plus 4 is 12, and then 0 and 0 at the end. Now, to convert this number into hex, we group our binary timeline into nibbles. So that's groups of 4. So we have four zeros here. Well, 0 is obviously 0. We don't actually need this number here, but we're showing it for completeness. And now we group the next nibble or group of four. We have a one in the eight column and a one in the four column. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And remember that 12 in hex is C. So the deanery number 12 in hex is zero C, or more simply put, just C. Okay, let's look at the number 24. So first, we're going to write it out in binary. So there's number 24. It's a 16 plus an 8. We're going to start with our left hand nibble and notice we've got our own mini binary waiting line of 1, 2, 4 and 8. We're not using the 16, 32, 64 and 128. So and we have a 1 in the 1 column. So we place 1 down the bottom there. We then take the next nibble and again we have a 1 in the 8 column. So we have 8. So the deanery number 24 in hexadecimal is 1,8. Now that's important, it's not 18, it's 1,8. And it's important to note here that although hexadecimal has letters available to it, not every deanery number will convert into a hexadecimal number that contains letters. So let's look at a large number now, 230. The process is exactly the same. First of all, let's write out the binary. So there's the number 230 written out in binary. And we're gonna start with the left-hand group of four bits, the first nibble. So we have a 1 in the 8 column, plus a 1 in the 4 column, plus a 1 in the 2 column. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And of course, in hexadecimal, 14 is E. So the left nibble represents E. In the right nibble, we have a 4 plus a 2, which is 6. And in hex, that is simply 6. So 230 in deanery is E. 6 in hexadecimal. Let's do one last one now of 100. And again, why don't you pause the video here, work through this one yourself, 
and then unpause the video and see if you get the same answer we do. So first of all, there's 100 written out in binary. Now let's start with the left hand nibble first. So we have a one in the four column and a one in the two column. Remembering again, we're using the mini binary weighting line for the nibble, not the field weightings at the top. So we've got a four and a two is six. And then the right hand nibble, we just have a one in the four column, so that's four. So the deanery number 100 in hex is six, four. Again, remember, that's 6, 4, not 64. So what about if you get asked to go the other way? If you get given a hexadecimal number and you're asked to put it into binary or deanery? Well, again, if you get told to put it into deanery, just work through binary first. So it's quite a straightforward process. Let's take a look. So we'll start with the left hand hexadecimal digit first, which is an A, and we know that needs to turn into one nibble. So A needs to turn into four bits. Well, A represents 10, so that's an eight and a two. So we've got a one in the eight column, followed by a zero, followed by a one in the two column, followed by a zero. Eight and two is 10, or A in hex. We do exactly the same thing with B. The hexadecimal digit B needs to turn into four bits or a nibble. B in hex is 11, so we want an eight, zero fours, and a two and a one. Eight, nine, 10, 11. So now we have our binary equivalent of the hexadecimal digit A, B, and that's one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, one. To convert that into deanery, we now just add up the original binary weighting lines if the columns have a one in. So we have 128 plus a 32 plus an eight plus a two plus a one is 171. So the base 16 hex number AB is 171 in deanery. Let's do one more. Let's convert the hexadecimal digit three, six that's 36, not 36, into binary and deanery. Again, pause the video, take it through binary, and then unpause and see if you got the same answer that we did. So you can see we've taken the three, and we've written that out there as a one in the two column, a one in the one column. On the right hand side nibble, we've got six. So that's a one in the four column, and a one in the two column. We add the columns together that have ones in, 32 plus 16 plus four plus two equals 54. Let's do one final example. We've got seven F. Again, pause the video and see if you can work through this one without our help, and then unpause it and see if you got it right. So the left nibble is seven, so that's four, two, and one, four, five, six, seven. So there's one in each of those columns and a zero in the eight. And the right hand nibble is a capital F, so that is 15, so that's all the ones, that's an eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's a four, 13, 14, that's a two, and one for 15. We add together all the columns with ones in, and we end up with 127. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. 
how do we convert between the various different base number systems binary, deanery and hexadecimal?